Today I just thought we'd take a look at this Milwaukee M12 soldering iron. It's a catalog number 2488-20. I thought it was interesting. I just thought we'd uh, get one on the bench and uh, try it out. So the soldering iron claims it'll heat up in 18 seconds. Have our three different position head, which is kind of neat. And the soldering iron really is kind of unusual. It is fairly lightweight to have the battery with it. Yes. Must hard to be at temperature. There we go. Bring over a board here. I'm going to take this fuse off and keep it. Pretty quick. Might even be a little bit better tilted. A little tricolor LED <clears throat> ceramic cap off. Another ceramic cap. So, one thing that's really neat about it, it could set up for you. And um, even though I thought this heavy battery would probably be useless for it. It would actually be good if you actually did want to use it for a base. Maybe you just wanted the um, say ten a wire, you know. And um, I think I'll actually enjoy it for ten a wire and things of that nature. So the button just locks in place. When you push down, it pops back. The green at temperature light turns red to let us know it's still a hot surface on the iron. Got it back on now with a small battery. Um, it's kind of neat. Even though the tip felt a little awkward to hold it to start with, I got used to it. And I can tell they made it where no matter what position it's in, you can just lay it down without a holder. And it's, it don't easily roll and it keeps the tip off of the uh, work surface. So that's kind of neat. So the manual tells us that it should take about 20 minutes for the temp indicator light to go off and we'll know it's safe to store. So when a solid red is cooling, of course the blinking green is when it's heating up and the solid green is when it's actually at temperature. We also had our fuel gauge when we first when we first power it on, we have our fuel gauge indicator. So when the light does stay solid green, it indicates that the solder melt temp is between 400 and 750 degrees Fahrenheit. And even though I didn't see any information really about runtime, if we just figure the, the 90 watts that they actually rated the iron at, and this is only a 16 watt hour battery that I have. And this is actually a 32, yeah, 30, 32 watt hour. So you're talking 10 or 11 minutes on that one. And what's that 22, 23 minutes on this one? 
on a fully charged battery so so still pretty good especially if you got several batteries you got a quick job pretty handy little um, cordless iron to have really what I have to deal with the uh, butane which is pretty much always my go-to for a portable iron has always been butane but I think this is probably going to take its place where butane has a little edge on it as I do always use the butane for the little heat gun too for heat shrinking things of that nature and you, you don't quite have that capability here but I know Milwaukee does make a cordless heat gun but of course that's a whole separate tool but still a real nice uh, way to have a portable soldering iron with batteries that typically you already have. The length of the soldering iron with the battery out is 10.7 inches and the um, heating element is rated for 90 watts. Set point temperature is 750 degrees Fahrenheit. And there's our heating element. And it did come with the chisel tip as well as the pointed tip. So there's our element. Looks like it will have to be soldered in. There we go, just a board and the LED light. You can see that it actually shows on the board it, it reads fuse. It's just a trace though, but they may have sized that trace to be a fuse there. And then the temperature feedback is a thermocouple coming in, going back to the controller. Yeah, it looks like it definitely doesn't go down to a plug because the wiring just goes and loops around for the pivot head. So you can actually rotate it around. And it just loops around. So it's actually soldered in right there. You can see that. It's got some potting material or waterproofing silicone over the connections there to keep corrosion off the, the solder joints. So I just wanted to look and see how easy it would be to replace the element. Not terribly difficult, but they didn't go out of their way to make it easy. Snaps together really nice. Thought that would be a little bit of a challenge getting that transformer off, but it was actually it's actually pretty easy. So if you enjoy this quick review of this Milwaukee cordless soldering iron, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.